Hello everybody! Welcome to another tutorial by Dutch Paper Girl. Today I will be showing you how to make a honeycomb easter egg. You need all kinds of things, so before we start, let's see what you need. First of all you need silk paper. It's available in all kinds of colors. Next, ordinary printing paper and cardboard. You also need needle and thread. You have to fasten the top and bottom of your easter egg. You see? Otherwise it will look very messy. You need a pencil and a ruler. Glue. And scissors. Start by making a guiding background. All lines are parallel. You can see they are numbered 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Always start with the 1 and end with the 1. You will need those lines to know where to glue. This is the first paper. I always start with the lines that are numbered with 1. Put glue on them. Use dry glue, like a stick. Otherwise, as I <laughs> had with one egg before, all the papers will be glued together and that's not what you want. There we are, all the ones are glued. Put the second paper on it. Attach firmly, no wrinkles. Now put glue on all the twos. There's one, there's another, and there. And put paper number three on top of this. You can see I cut my paper in a kind of shape of an egg because I didn't want to spoil that much paper. It's about two centimeters bigger than my egg will be at the end. And now you have to go on and on. That was two and now you have to put glue on lines one, etc, etc, two, one. I will use 20 pieces of paper, but you can use more if you want. I want to create lines in my easter egg, so I will use different colors. I started with lines glued on number one and I will end with that as well. So now I will put on number 20. Now I will mark out number 2, because that's what I need when I want to glue two halves together later on. The shape of an egg will be perpendicular to the lines I glued. You see, that's why I turned the, the, the egg a quarter. Now I will draw the outline of the egg to know where to cut it later on. Thank you. 
nice and easy. The paper is still a bit wet, so take care when you cut it. The shape of my egg can be folded. You see, both sides are equal. So now I will be able to fold this as well. Fold it this way. So you now know exactly where the middle is. Turn it around and fold it the other way as well. Now get your needle and thread out and make sure both ends are secu secured. You can do that by making a knot and then go through the paper. But I will do it like this. Just go through it and tie it together. Same on the top end. If you want to hang your Easter egg, don't cut off the thread at the end like I did. So, that's two ends closed nicely. Now I want to shape the egg. You know, I started out with gluing with glue on lines one. That means I now have to close the egg with glue on lines two. So the pattern will continue nicely. There is another two and the last one. I can fold it completely. There we go. Oh look, it starts to look nice already, but not finished yet. Oh, put that one in. Now you need the cardboard. There's the original shape of the egg. Same size, you see. But now it has to be a bit smaller, so cut off about a half a centimeter. And make some room in the middle.
last cut off the ends. Make some room to fold the egg later on. Now you have to glue on the paper on both sides of the eggs, but I want to close the egg with paper clips, so I'm going to leave a bit of space where I put no glue and mark that out here. And of course I have to do that on the other one as well. Now I've glued it on, that's one, and that's another. And now you can shape your egg. I only had white cardboard and I think it's showing too much, so what I've done, I should have done it before I glued it on, but hey, I've colored it and now, as you can see in this part, it isn't that obvious anymore. So don't forget to give it a nice color and it won't show off that much. And well look, here it is, my Easter egg. Oh, I really like the lines in it, the different colors. I hope you like it too. And we'll try to make another one as well. Have fun. Bye.